Panda Pearls. You're not supposed to know we eating good in the hood. Okay? The website is sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls and Instagram is Sugar Pearls underscore online. What do you say? We get cooking good looking. I'm going to start with, there you go. Now you can see a, a nice piece of pork loin. Very cheap. Um, so if, if you need a struggle meal, but you still want to like look like you're doing something fancy schmancy, you know, this, this is the way to go. The only right. thing we're really going to use is a little kosher salt. All right on both sides, well seasoned, because you're not cutting it open, but you want to make sure that you've got a nice crust. Um, we're going to sear these up a little bit uh, as little medallions. I've got some onions going here. Now, the dopiaza, we're totally cheating, all right? This is a shortcut, all right? You've been working all day, all week. You don't want to come and make... Uh, anything from scratch necessarily but we are making it at home so it's homemade so little babies I had left over from another recipe just gonna slice them up I also had a watermelon beet just gonna slice it up real thin with my little vegetable peeler and this is also going in our ready-made uh, dopiaza curry. So now we've got everything chunked and sliced. Let's get a little bit of brown sugar and lemon juice. I know. Just to kind of get a little crust going and make sure that your ingredients are well incorporated so you know that you need nice clean hands. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. So we've got eight medallions, about an inch thick. So I really want to make sure that this pan is turned all the way up so that I could get a beautiful crust and dark golden brown. Mm, just look at those colors. Now, the tomato and the onions are the same ingredients that are already in your pre-made dopiaza. Okay, so you're not adding anything really extensive to it. I do have some fresh herbs and I want to make sure that I incorporate them into this dish. One of the staples of Indian cooking is the freshness of the herbs, whether fresh or dry, that go into the recipes. Uh, one is oregano, Ooh, and I love it. That beautiful color, oh my gosh. And you can see it cooking. So I know when it's just right, um, and the color is gonna show me that as well. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing, not move it, not lift it up. Just let it get a nice crust on this side too. Now that our pork has rested or is resting, we're gonna grab a nice earthen pot. This one is oven safe. Um, if I had a tagine or something, I would put it inside there, but I don't. So I think this is just gonna do it just fine. So we'll add the pork to the dopiaza, put it into the oven for about 15, 20 minutes, serve it over some rice and we're gonna be ready. All right, so now we've got our inside of our pot I'm gonna add another little sprig of oregano and time for the dopiaza okay so it's not all the way homemade but mm. it almost smells like um, curry meets pickle. I can't describe it, but it is just an explosion of aroma. 
uh, going on here. So it's going to do that in here. Our pork is inside our simmer sauce. So now we're just going to stick it in the oven. Let it do its thing. Don't go far. Dinner's coming up in a minute. And here is our pork dopiaza. Ooh, I can't wait. The flavors, the aromas. Let's get ready to plate. So we're gonna have a little uh, jasmine rice. I put some fresh basil in there and it's cooked up. So now uh, the whole pot of rice has this like fragrance of fresh basil all throughout every single grain. So let's go ahead and we're gonna make a nice little, little pot of rice in the middle of our plate. And now that same bowl, the plate that you wanna use, and you just turn it right on top. And there we have a nice bowl of rice. All right, it's time to get a taste of our not so homemade, but made at home pork. Piazza. Here we go. Um, I'm going to do the rice and the gravy first. I added some Brussels sprouts that I did on that same griddle. Um, and then I'm going to use a knife to kind of slice my pork. So let's try it. Mm. Oh my God. That flavor is so rich. Mmm. It's almost got like a um, a citrusy undernote to it. It's so nice. Oh my goodness. I could just eat the rice and the gravy. Gravy. Mmm. <laughs> Look at that. Cooked all the way through. We only had it in there for about 10-15 minutes in the oven. In the simmer sauce. Perfectly done. <laughs> and that basil rice is so good, so fragrant. It's a perfect addition to that dopiasa. Don't just take my word for it. Make this. Until next time, honey, remember I love you. And I hope you love me back. Bye. Billy got it bumping. Hey.